we're going to take a loose face powder that's just creamy natural, which is perfect for her, but you would want something like translucent face powder or light. Okay, it's got to be very light. And I'm going to load my brush completely up, and I'm going to tap it off into this container, and then I'm also going to tap it down into the brush. So I don't get product all over the place. I'm not blowing on it, spitting on it. And then that powder's in the brush, and I'm going to literally work off the back of my hand, start at the forehead, and cover everything so there's no shine on the face. All around the eye sockets, forehead, eye sockets across the nose, around the mouth, into the cheeks, and then work in a downward fashion so that if there's any little hairs on the skin, you literally want to make sure they lay down so they don't stand up. And don't forget the ears and get rid of all the shine. And you know what I'm going to tell you right now? That has a little bit of a mineral base to it. Shit. So I'm going to send you back to, let's say, Rite Aid and go to the NYC section. Any kind of translucent face powder for film. You may want to do, you know, like some of the natural mineral powders that don't have any shine. There's no shine on that. So it looks good, but I'm going to tell you a talc, a fine talc is actually going to be better for film. So you might want to start out with what you have on, but we're going to have to go over top of it. Okay. Translucent face powder can be used on any color skin tone, literally the lightest skin to the darkest black. Okay. Um, and what I'm going to do is just fill my brush up with the translucent face powder, tap it off. Tap it down into the brush, work off the back of my hand, and if you notice, there's absolutely no sheen on that whatsoever. So I see a little bit of sheen on your face that could cause problems on film. Okay. Because any shine literally will turn out. So just pick that up then. Yeah, I would. And you the know what? You can buy, NYC makes it for $2.99. Okay. You know, and like I said, I don't necessarily promoting anything that you do Walmart or Kmart look in the sales stuff or go to like a big lots or a place that you know if the makeup has never been opened and it's sealed it's good that's why often I tell you to go buy the pump bottles because you're not letting air into a product and so you know what happens is it doesn't go rancid so rather than doing this with your makeup and getting dirt from your you know you know like I just picked up my phone so did I wash my hands so do I want to do this no, the pump on the back of the hand. And you don't touch anything with the back of the hand. I can't answer my phone or the doorknob or, right. you know what I'm saying, with the back of my hand. These get dirty. This does not work off the back of your hand because okay. it's more, a little cleaner. And it's so always, obviously, start, you know, with clean hands. And then I'm just going over with that translucent face powder everywhere. And then we're going to do the same thing with the powder that we did with the foundation. And we're going to go with a little bit darker color which we do have, or you said you do have, like, in a compact style. Yes. And, you know, maybe what you can do is choke up on the brush a little bit. Okay. And I might have to go with the darker color here, but I'll find it for you in a minute. But we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take the darker color back here and smile and go in to do a checkup along the hair line mm -hmm. and choke up on the brush and go down the uh, the contour of the nose and also the jaw line, that little V and the tops of the ears. So there's no shine on your face whatsoever. Okay. And then, so now we're using a little bit of blush and this is like a neutral shade again. And I'm going to use this little brush, but I'm never going to put color powder directly on the face because it may not show up in real life, but it's going to show up on film. So I'm always going to work tapping it down into the brush, working off the back of my hand, and then go up here where it is literally the contour is darker, and I'm going to do smile and do that back here and bring it up to the cheek. So do a check up on the cheek. So way back here in just this small little area and check up to the cheek. Again, underneath the jawline, along the forehead. I even go over the eyes. Just shut your eyes and I'll just like drop that, pull that color across and just give her, look how bright her face looks in her correct colors. Okay. Okay, good. Now, 
So let's say she was going to be doing a scene where they wanted her completely natural. I would get rid of any powder on the lips at this point. And even when she did her photo shoot, Douglas said, get rid of the lipstick, take it all off. Make sure that you use, like, okay, now when you look at her lips, there's no powder on her lips. And I could get rid of the powder off of her eyebrows. And if, if last but not least, you have no clear mascara and, and there's nowhere to go, you want to, like, lick mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. on your fingertips and drag the color off of your eyelashes because you got powder on your eyelashes. Mm -hmm. I got powder all over you. So mm -hmm. that's another reason why. Drape, but we know she's not wearing this for the shoot. So you don't want mm -hmm. anything on her. Okay. I'm going to recommend that you go directly to lip color because there's nothing worse than dead lips. And so we want to get some kind of color on her lips no matter what. Right off the bat. So you can use this as a lip color brush. This could be a lip brush for you. And I recommend that you do anything that has um, natural beeswax products, something that doesn't have petroleum in it because petroleum uh, has a tendency to dry and crack the skin because it's basically car oil, car oil that's bleached. So stay away from petroleum products. Natural products are better. Okay, so that's just a very natural lip, no color. Okay, so now we pick a natural color lip tone that has no sparkle, no shine, and not a lot of gloss. And this is just a nude color that's going to really kind of match the color of her lip tone. And I don't line the lip. If I need to line the lip, I do it after the color is on just to kind of whatever, bring out, define, or outline a little bit of the lip. I don't like the dated look that lip liner gives you for film because, again, high def, they're up right close on you. Okay, so see that color? For very natural. You can always add color. She's cool tones. We know she is a chestnut winter, so she can go anywhere all the way up to cranberry red on her lips, depending on what the client is calling for. You do want to take some lip colors with you. Okay. So maybe even go buy a little palette of lip colors, packed maybe like this, so okay. give you a bunch of colors, Okay. you know, that are in cool tones, not warm tones, because okay. you're winter, not a fall. And sometimes you don't, you want to really stick away uh, from brown tones on camera. Okay. They do have a tendency to make your lips look black on camera. So always try to find a color that's good red for you. And like we talked about earlier, mm -hmm. cranberry is really your red. Okay. So you, you could use a brownish red or a cranberry color. Mm -hmm. And I'm not being perfect with this, but you get it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So look how that brightens your face. That's a good cranberry color. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Once I have the lipstick on, then I can go with more color on the face and it brightens me up. So there's nothing worse than dead lips. So we want to apply color first on the lips. So we get an idea of where we want to go with the rest of the face. Now on to the eyes.